Well, good afternoon and welcome to Studio 2A from KXCI. I'm Gregory Sweet and got a real privilege today. We're going to talk and listen to Otmar Liebert today. Well, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to Tucson as well. Thanks very much. And you have a show tonight at 8 o'clock, doors open at 7 o'clock at the Rialto Theater. That's right. And I understand there's going to be two separate sets tonight. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have uh, the first set uh, will be reminiscent of the sound of the new album Bear Wood, um, which is John's fabulous over 100-year-old German uh, upright bass. And Chris uh, plays a uh, Peruvian cajon. And then uh, for the second set, the sound will be a little more like 305, which means Chris moves to this really interesting hybrid kit that has uh, a tiny pandero as a kick drum and a couple of little snares and Cuban cajons. Uh, and John moves to electric bass guitars, and I still play mostly flamenco guitar, but there's a couple of little things that I play on the electric guitar. Excellent. You mentioned, to your new album that just came out, mm -hmm. and the name of that is 305. Yeah, 305, and the other one's called Bear Wood. I heard you talking a little bit before we started mm -hmm. the interview. Can you tell our audience a little bit about how the name of 305 came about? Well, the name of 305 came about uh, when somebody, um, I, I heard somebody at the merchandise table say something about, ask about the significance of the logo on the back, of, and he saw it, or she saw it as time, as five minutes after three, and it's actually just the OL logo, uh, one that my dad designed decades ago and for me it was always just ol i never saw that it could be seen or read as a, a clock face and so i thought that was really interesting and i i used that as the title for this album because the album is really um a different side of me it's got a little bit more electric guitar on it um it's got a drum kit on it uh and that really only came about for for a couple reasons first i only knew chris um as a percussionist and we toured with him for over a year before i ever heard him play drum kit um and he's actually amazing on drum kit so um between that and me wanting to do something that um, had a little bit of my 70s roots, a little more of a funky music uh, on it. And for example, um, I uh, woke up with one morning and I thought, you know, Wawa Watson, who's one of my favorite guitar players, he played the, the guitar on Papa Was a Rolling Stone. He played with Marvin Gaye, Herbie Hancock, lots of people. And I thought, how would he play a Bularias? Now, Bularias is a 12-8 rhythm. It's actually uh, an Arabic rhythm. And um, so I woke up and I thought, how would he play that? And this is what I came up with. <laughs> So that was the, the riff that started that album, and then uh, Chris played drums on it, and we layered it. You know, it has electric bass on it. It has um, some electric guitar, flamenco guitar, of course, um, keyboards. And so uh, that's going to be more of the second half. That sounds great. It should be a good show. Really looking forward to that tonight. Um, have you got something lined up that you could play for us? Yeah. What I'd like to play is um, I wanted something that, that, that brought the two albums together because they're so different. And I had written this uh, bolero, a, a slow ballad for um, Bear Wood. And once I had recorded it, I thought, you know, this would re sound really terrific as an upbeat rumba. So that same song is on both albums, and we actually start the first set with the bolero version, and then we end the second set with the rumba version. And what I'll do now is try to approximate what the two of them sound sort of mashed up together. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. 
wonderful blend. I really you. enjoyed that a lot. We should probably also mention again that your show tonight is at the Rialto. Mm-hmm. Doors open at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock the show starts. There is no opening act. You're, it's just you tonight and your band. Yeah. And Luna Negra. Yeah. And, um, we enjoy playing too much. There ain't no opening act. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we don't want to share the stage. No. no. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, terrific. And it is a seated show tonight, mm-hmm. so it should be uh, uh, great for listening to this kind of music. I want to talk a little bit about um, your background. Mm-hmm. I know you were born in Cologne, Germany. Mm-hmm. And um, have been in the United States a long time, though. Yeah, since '79. And uh, have a, 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 I read a beautiful home in Santa Fe, New Mexico, as well. And do you like that area over there, really? Yes, um, I think it's actually very much responsible for me making this kind of music. Um, I asked for an electric guitar, uh, for a classical guitar, at age 11. Um, I had seen a lot of great performers on TV on a show called Beat Club in Germany, uh, which you can find on YouTube. There's some amazing stuff all recorded in the early, very early 70s. Um, and we didn't actually have a TV, but my grandparents had one. So on Saturdays I could watch that show. But I knew I could never ask for an electric guitar because we lived in a small apartment. So my Trojan horse was I'm going to ask for a classical guitar and then switch in a few years. Um, And so when I came to Boston, I actually played electric guitar only. I didn't even own uh, an acoustic guitar until I moved to Santa Fe in 86. And a friend of mine that I was staying with had a horrible classical guitar, and I started playing it and really, really enjoyed it. And so I started uh, playing in restaurants, and then I found a guy who uh, had lived in Spain for a long time and um, played traditional flamenco, and so I, I had him teach me a few things. So that's what really influenced you to kind yeah. of switch over from classic to flamenco. Yeah, that. or for from electric, because the whole time in Boston for seven years I was playing sort of funk rock. Yeah, that's what stuff. I read. You were yeah. a rock musician at that yeah, time. Yeah, so um, I think I think part of that is just um, in Santa Fe there's a real a, a melting pot of different cultural influences. I mean, you see restaurants that... M- you know, mix uh, s- Southwestern and Asian cuisine, uh, all sorts of things. And I remember one of the first um, things I actually heard in in, 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 a, in a, I think it was in, in the back room of a restaurant, I heard this music and it, it drew me in and I walked in and it was one of the strangest combinations I'd ever heard. It was a, a flamenco guitar player, uh, a banjo player, and a classical violinist. Incredible. And I thought, wow, if this can happen in this town, this is this is for this me. This is where I need to be. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's great. <laughs> wow, what a combination. <laughs> I'm still not a fan of banjo, but it was really interesting. <laughs> 
I, you know, I just kind of sitting here trying to imagine that five string banjo with with a flamenco guitar, but I guess it worked. Yeah, <laughs> it did work. That's that great. evening, it worked for sure. And I want to talk about your. Um, I saw that your very first album, uh, Nuevo Flamenco, mm -hmm. has been remastered and uh, re-released. It was released ten years later. So in two thousand, it was re-released. Unless they have done another re 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 release. I, I think I think that was it. Was two thousand. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah. an amazing album, and oh. um, um, I'm not sure which one it was on, but um, uh, Women Walking was one that I really yeah, enjoyed a yeah, lot. That, that was, was on uh, uh, one of my favorites, as well as Barcelona Nights. Which if, is, if you listen to it, you'll hear that the um, that's the only one where I had to use a drum machine because the percussionist I was working with just didn't he didn't come up with something that I really liked so it has this you know inexpensive drum machine that I programmed for it and there's another thing that once I tell you and you listen to it uh, you can never unhear it there's a song in there called Passing Storm. Okay. And if you listen with headphones, you'll hear that I must, the, the engineer must have given me a chair that was squeaky. And so Incredible. you, the whole time you hear this, and you wonder, you, you know, at first you go, if, when I, before I told you, you will think, oh, it's some really cool percussion instrument. <laughs> now chair. that you go back, you'll go, oh my God, it's a chair. And from now on, you will never be able to not hear it as a chair. Oh so, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it was actually such a low budget record. Um, yeah. It was done in a little studio um, that was near a, you know, the, 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 the sand places where they make concrete. Mm -hmm. So when the, whenever the trucks came by, we actually had to stop recording. <laughs> you know, it wasn't it wasn't like a big master plan or you know it was just like, let's make this record um, and and see what comes out. And for me, the it was actually um, a handshake deal with a Native American artist who wanted this album to sell uh, to give away at a party. Right. Um, so it was a handshake. Uh, agreement with him and the agreement was he was going to pay for the recording and he was going to pay for the other musicians and the studio time and the engineer uh, then he was going to make a thousand CDs and my payment was going to be simply the master so um, I was just like let's have some fun with this let's just you know I'm, I'm not getting paid anyway <laughs> who would think that this thing remastered as, and, and renamed uh, Nuvo Flamenco would sell like over two million copies. It's in the a double US platinum, alone. yeah, right? in yeah. here and it's double platinum in Australia, in New Zealand. It, it's it's amazing. It, it, <laughs> but it was literally. I I don't think it cost him more than, I don't know, three four thousand dollars. Incredible. That's a classic example of uh, getting something back for what you put out, isn't it? For to give away and and uh, it came back. A hundredfold. You know, yes, amazing. nobody could have imagined that. That, yeah. that would happen, that's yeah. for sure. We want to mention again that uh, your show tonight is at the Rialto. Mm -hmm. Doors open at 7. 8 o'clock is the show. No opening act, nope. as Otmar was telling me earlier. And uh, two sets tonight for a seated performance. Uh, got time to do another song for sure. us?
absolutely stunningly beautiful from a stunning artist. I don't think, Otmar, that in all the interviews that I've done for KXCI and Studio 2A that I've ever had anyone that has brought a sense of peace and calm the way you your music does. Oh, thank you. It's absolutely incredible. Please tell me the name of that. Uh, that one's called Shadow, and it's from uh, an album we did two years ago called Dune. Absolutely. Just beautiful. I'm, I'm completely taken back by it. And, you know, you've got such a wonderful sense of humor. I, I mean, I wish that people could get to know you, and <laughs> I, I, they get to hear you talk in, in our studio, but... You're sitting here so comfortably with your shoes off in here and, and uh, with this beautiful guitar and beautiful music. I just hope the show is really wonderful tonight and oh, thank you, you have a great, uh, we great have attendance. A, we have a great audience here in Tucson, so I'm, I, I always look forward to coming Well, let's, let's talk about it one more time before we let you go. Uh, Rialto Theater tonight, mm-hmm. 8 o'clock. Yep. Uh, two sets, no opening act. 7 o'clock, the doors open, and uh, the great flamenco guitar player, Otmar Liebert. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for Please having me. Please come see us again. Yes, and uh, I'd love to come again, and uh, I want to tell all the listeners to your radio station how important and how rare it is to have community radio and people that actually program their own music. Um, so please support it. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very really welcome. really appreciate that so Thank much. Thank Otmar Liebert. Thank you, and good luck tonight with the show. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kathy, on the home stretch.